Hi, I'm Sharon Canopa and I'm the Mayor of Albany and I'm also a lifelong um, resident of the City of Albany and I would also, be, I'm here to encourage you to vote no on the two upcoming ballot measures. These measures have a lot of impact to the City of Albany and they also, they're not a simple question that you're going to see on the ballot. They have a lot of unintended consequences. The first one is 22116, which would be a vote on any new urban renewal district or substantial changes to the existing urban renewal district. The voting for a new urban renewal district would be a big hindrance to any economic development we would want to be able to bring in for Albany. Our state of Oregon even identifies urban renewal as a vital tool for economic development. But if we're having a big employer coming in to provide family wage jobs, which most people, citizens, want us to provide, they're not going to wait around for an election whether they are going to be able to have the infrastructure for their project. It would be a big hindrance for any sort of economic development. Also, we hear from many people that they want government to be less restrictions. They want government to be um, business friendly. They want government to be able to streamline the process. This adds many layers to that process, many more government restrictions. 22117 is for any new debt, and which is not even really defined in the measure. I really question whether it's even going to be constitutional. But it also impacts um, economic development. Local improvement districts, which say when Timber Ridge School came in, or, or the Lowe's project that's currently um, in the works, those would have to go to the voters. Well, no employer is gonna to wanna to wait around for an election whether they're gonna be able to have their infrastructure. So it's a big impact for economic development. So I wanna encourage you please to vote no on these measures.